Hey, it's Tuscark11 back with more of my Animal Crossing New Horizons City Core Island of Letheria. So the main city street area of my island has gone through some major changes since the last time I showed it a few months ago. I'll be going over that and maybe get into the Market Street if we have time. So first off, the entrance. Not too much has changed about the entrance. I just shrunk down the garden spot with the Azura Shrine a little so that there's more walking space around it. I changed the panels on this building because default options on simple panels are currently less laggy than having the custom patterns on them. So I tried to put more default patterns on where I could. Hang on, I gotta get this balloon. Hopefully it's something good. Why is there always a balloon right when I'm starting to record? And it's useless. So we've got more crosswalk signals added everywhere. Really like these car items. I just wish they weren't so laggy. Otherwise, I'd put a lot more of them around. Got this little building here with an ad on it of Zura's face. Over here, a building front to hide my storage shed so that I have easy access to it by the entrance for trading. Little cafe. This is one of the oldest fake buildings on my island. This whole section by the entrance here is some of the earliest stuff that I added to the island when I started making a city core island. Not much to see in this courtyard, just the view of over there, which I've shown before already. And I've updated the farm area again, so I'll be showing that at some other point. Showing it again at some other point. But really like the skyline look from this. Here we have the ramen shop, now with a much better variety of food in it. The main commercial zone of the island. And one thing I added over here is when you look at it from over this way, you can see the tops of those buildings made to look higher by having stadium lights. I kind of want to put stadium lights in more places, but I don't really know where I could put them since this is one of the only places that really works for it since there's nothing behind there except the river. So, one of the biggest changes made is that this road was widened to four spaces so that it looks like more of a central road going through the island. You've got Truck Coon if you want to get isekai And the truck was really the main idea that caused me to change up this whole thing here so that I could fit the truck. Train station. The museum looks really good as a train station, it just fits very well. Up here is the Maid Cafe. The Maid Cafe is being reduced down in size, so it's a bit cozier looking now. The main reason that the Maid Cafe was reduced was so that I could expand the road on that side, which I'll show in a minute. 
We have the monopond working in here as one of her many jobs. There's nothing behind the train station museum besides just access to that line of buildings I showed earlier. Front of the maid cafe. So this whole road has been moved over one tile so that I could fit in more buildings on this side. So the first thing we've got here is this building with a TV in it to look like one of those big skyscrapers with screens on it. I've slightly updated Silvalum, the Silvalum Meadow off to the side here, but I'll save that for another point to see if unless we have time for it after going through everything over here. So a little alleyway behind this house where we have one of the many hidden Torahs and Rickies across the island. Torah and Ricky are hidden in a lot of places. We've got a hide-and-seek minigame going on here. And also the river was widened because I wanted to have a more consistent five space river going across the whole island. Got a big set of buildings here. This house has been condensed down a little. You can still climb up there, but there's nothing really there to look at. We've got the fish tanks to look like lit windows. And the Market Street. So the Market Street has now been made more symmetrical thanks to moving everything on this entire side of the island over by one tile. That took a lot of time to work. Because this entire, the entire left side of the island is just on a line. So moving everything over one tile means moving the entire line over one tile. So we've got lots of different stalls selling different things here. And an apartment at the end. I believe that's Rosie's house that I made into the apartment. So most of these stalls have some kind of theme to them. Most of them are just different food that I put out. This one is, I don't know, I guess a psychic tent. And as the last thing we'll show for this episode, got just the little viewing area off to the side so the ocean lookout not really a lot here it's just a really nice looking spot and then the power plant at the end so I base this off of the Smweed or Smwad I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that power plant from Morardain and Xenoblade 2 which is why I threw in a Morag costume sitting in front of it. So those are the main city streets of my city core island. I'll be showing all the other areas over the coming weeks. Still have to do the residential district. Got to show the updated beaches. Basically, almost the entire island has been updated since the last couple of videos showing it. So, got a lot to go over again. 
So if you watch to the end, then comment Blossom Dance down below to let me know. It really helps with the algorithms. So see you next time.